my name is Zainab and I'm taking over the Honors College Instagram this weekend to attend the Southern Shorts Awards in Roswell, Georgia. Me and my family are driving up there now and I just wanted to take you guys along the way with us. For those of you who don't know, the Southern Shorts Awards is an annual film festival and competition that works to recognize different filmmakers and quality short motion pictures. I'm going to the awards this weekend in Georgia with Dr. Tyler Fisher, Dr. Cheryl Briggs, along with other people from our team to accept an award for the Positive Parenting Fables Project because we won an award in merit and hopefully after this weekend we might win the award of Best Animation of Winter 2020. So wish us luck. A few other students and I also won awards in screenwriting for the project. And I think that's something that's really fun and interesting because I am a biomedical science and Spanish major, but my main contributions to the project so far have been in writing. So the project is a very interesting project that works to take the CDC guidelines um, that you can find online or in pamphlets and put it into a more palatable form that is hopefully more impactful for the parents so they're able to better remember how to take care of their child and better practices of parenting for children and infants. The pillar of the project is our focus on different communities in the Central Florida area, specifically the Hispanic and Haitian Creole communities, which are the second and third largest communities in Central Florida. Since we have so far are in Spanish and Haitian Creole, but we are working to add so many more, such as Mandarin and Arabic. If you guys want to check out the fables, you can find them on our YouTube channel, Positive Parenting Fables, below. A baby sandpiper is building an impressive sandcastle, but her parents do not pay attention. No matter what she does, no matter how hard she tries, her parents remain distracted. Guys, so while I'm waiting for my car, I just want to talk a little bit about research opportunities. So being a part of the Positive Parenting Fables project has really brought a lot of opportunities my way. One of the major ones is doing honors in the major in which I'm going to be creating my own thesis. My honors in the major project is focusing on infant vaccinations in that fable in specific in the central community region. So I'm going to be serving Haitian Creole and Hispanic people in our area to try and get a better understanding of how they view vaccinations and the stories they have on that in order to make our fables more encompassing of their culture and something that they can understand more easily. Hopefully we're going to make it in time, um, but I just wanted to keep talking a little bit more about research and opportunities. I spoke a little bit about what I feel the project, some opportunities that it's given me, and I know for a lot of other students, research really gives you an opportunity to travel and to present it and meet new people and network. I know a couple of weekends ago, another student that was working on the project, Sean, was able to go to Tallahassee to present the research. And even over last summer, um, another student, Abby, was able to go all the way to Oxford to work on a project that's related to this research project. And so I feel like you can see how research really gives you the opportunity to try new things and go to new places. And another one of the most important things that research does is it really gives you a platform and the resources to help people and make a change in your community or even in society as a whole. 